Hi guys, Snake Doctor here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well. Um, as you can see in front of you, we have a brand new Minecraft loading screen or menu screen right here. This is the Snake Doctor customized, personalized, curated by me mod pack that's free to download on the Twitch launcher. If you go to the Twitch launcher and search Snake Doctor or Snake, this will come up. You'll find this one. It'll, you'll see my little icon, my logos on the screen and you can download it. You can play it yourself. It is free to download. It is free to play. You can play in single player um, with you know, on your own. You can rent your own server through the lovely people at Sticky Piston who power the server that I have with this um, by clicking on your make your own server. Um, and yeah, and you you can get a, a discount code, which I'll leave in the description as well, a 25% discount code off your, off your server each month, not just one month, every month. Um, but the main reason I've set this mod pack up is so that my members on my channel, the Bailey and Team Snake level members on my channel, again, click the join button or a link in the description if you want to become a member, can play on a server. And I'm going to click on multiplayer and you can see here it says Snake's Modded Survival. Hosted by Sticky Piston. Let's join the server and I'll show you the sort of stuff you can get up to in this mod pack um, and the sort of stuff you'll be able to do if you join my channel and become a member of Bailey or Team Snake. And you can come on the server twice a week. We stream on a Wednesday and a Saturday. I think it's Saturday. I um, can't remember. Yeah, I think it's Saturday. Um, and yeah, and you can come on and be in my streams with me, playing the game. Um, together, it'll be really good fun. I'm, I really want you to be a member and join. We've got about 20 people that can play this at the moment, which is lovely. Um, as you can see, I'm in my house. I'll go to spawn in a second and show you. But this is where I have built. I built this in the stream that I did yesterday. Um, but this is this is my little house. It's a prefab house. You get a house when you begin. Um, I'll show you the outside. It is daytime, luckily, so it's not too dangerous at the moment. We've got a cool mod pack that closes and opens doors nicely, as it says here. This is Snake Doctor's house. Um, I've got I've got pretty good health, pretty good armor at the moment. We've got shaders on. If you want to know the shaders, they are BSL shaders. I've told this to the people in in my streams before, but they're BSL shaders. Um, let's go out of here. Look at these doors that's swinging open. They're amazing. I'm gonna go in the back quickly and show you my watchtower with my with my six wind turbines powering my machines. Also, um, I also crafted a greenhouse which looks absolutely amazing. It's got all my lots of plants in it at the moment. I've grown pams. Harvest craft plants for the most part, all fully grown, awesome. So I've got a really good uh, set of food. Um, you can also, as you can see in the bottom left, uh, the bottom of the screen, I've got hearts. I've got extra orange hearts. You can get those by eating different foods, um, by getting uh, heart shards and make them into heart canisters. You can get extra hearts because mobs get difficult, more difficult the longer you play. Um, as I had a question in the Discord this morning, our group Discord. If you want to join again, link in the description. Um, do player does player difficulty go across the world for all players? Is everyone's player difficulty the same? No, player difficulty is or game difficulty is set by player, player by player. So if you join this in a month's time, you will get the starting player difficulty. Me and other people that have been on from since the beginning will have a much higher difficulty. Um, obviously, if we go out together, you're going to get some difficult mobs and some and some hard mobs, uh, difficult mobs and some easy mobs. But you'll be with players that have the armor, have the have the weapons to deal with it quite easily. So when you start. You're going to spawn here. It says, welcome. Head to the welcome center for server rules. This here is the welcome center. Um, I probably should put a sign up there saying welcome center. So I'll probably do that now. We'll grab a, we'll go and grab a sign in a bit. But right here is the welcome center. This is where the server rules are. It says, be respectful and kind towards other players at all times. Do not grief the land. Um, we have final say. Me and Weymouth, who is the other server owner of this. Um, any bugs to be issued and reported in Discord. There's a, a, a issues... Uh, chat in our discord no swearing or anything bad you know the rules no spamming no glitches if you find any don't abuse them just let us know no trapping of other players tp trapping's bad please don't do it and um, no pranking description of other players we may have sessions where we can go hey let's have a bit of a prank let's have a bit of fun um we'll do that but we'll let you guys know when that happens we don't want players to be to be annoyed some people don't want to do that they just want to have fun and play but the main rule like always is Number 10, have fun. As it says here, powered by Sticky Piston. Those guys have been lovely and very helpful. We have our nether portal in the base here. So if you want to have a nether portal, you can. Oh, look, the server's rebuilt in 10 minutes. That's handy. I better hurry. Um, yep, yeah, there's the, the... We've got a little quest drop-off room. We were going to have personalised quests. We decided in the end not to do that. Um, because um, I just figured that we'll do... We'll set quests so people can come in here. Throw their items in the, in the quest room. And then we can go and get them. We've got a special quest room we can go and get stuff from. 
But yeah, there you go. This is our this is our welcome center. I will get a sign and do that. I'll sort it out later. No major panic. Um, but yeah, I just really wanted to have a little video to show you this, to show you that you guys can join this um, this server. I really want you to join it. It'd be great fun if I can see you on here. Like I said, all you've got to do is be a member of Team Snake or Bailey level. But there was a spider under there then. Let's actually grab a sign. We'll put a grab uh, sign and put it on the on the welcome centre. I don't know if I've even got any signs left. Um, I'm in the middle of making an ME system. Oh yeah, we've got we've got our, our transmutation table. Every item in the game has an EMC value. And it's basically, um, oh, it's, I've learnt wheat, there you go, look. It literally gives you extra EMC, and then from there, I can then make, look, I could take five diamonds out of there for the price of my EMC that I've got. Put them back, I get my EMC back. It's a good little system. Uh, chili seeds and tomato seeds I need to grow. Uh, I can't, there's not everything is EMCable, so you have to, I've got some stuff that isn't EMCable in here, um, which you just have to keep in a separate system. I'm going to make an ME system, or a refined storage system, which will give us... Um, all, I'll give you all the storage I need. As you can see up here, this is my this is my watchtower, but I've turned it into a more of a tower of power. Um, I also have a, a glider. Let's go and actually grab. Let's go and grab a sign before we do that. And then once I've grabbed the sign, we'll go fly back over to the sister to the uh, to the to the welcome center. I think I've got a sign in here actually. Let's have a look. Sign. I oh, we have got a sign. There you go. Look. So I've, each one of these signs is 17 EMC. So I can grab look 64 signs, and it really doesn't cost me anything at all. And the more stuff you get, the more EMC you make, the better it is for everyone. Let's grab... Oh, I've put my glider away. What did I do with the glider? Glider. Here we are. Look, I've got a glider. Let's go and get our glider. Let's fly over to the welcome centre. And, um, yeah, and it'd be great. As you see, as, um, as you'll know if you're on the Discord, um, this is a very, very welcoming community. They're all lovely people. Um, look at me with my glider. Um, right, let's head over to the Welcome Center. You'd have seen this Welcome Center if you've watched my um, Isolation Craft streams or videos in the past. Because um, this is the same building I've used in there. Right, here we go. We are here. Let's stick this up right there. And we're going to put the uh, Snake Doctor. Snake Doctor's Welcome Center. Hopefully that'll fit. It does. There you go. Everyone on this server is welcome to the Snake Doctor Welcome Center. Um, yeah, so guys, that is it. Just a little short video, just so you can see the sort of stuff that you can get up to on this modded survival server. Even if you don't want to play on the modded survival server yourself and be a member, download the pack, play in single player. Get your own server with your friends if you want to play. I say, click the link on the homepage. You'll see that it'll take you to the Sticky Piston website. They are really good. And as I say, the link in the description will give you a code for... 25% uh, off, um, which surely is worth doing. Um, yeah, I, I think you'll enjoy it. I think I say I've worked hard on this mod pack. It's taken me a few months to get this to the point where I'm happy to release it. Um, I'm really pleased that it's on the Curse Forge um, page as well because that means anyone can get it. If we update the pack, you'll be able to update the pack easily and quickly as well. Um, if you want to get Optifine, which lets you zoom in, um, all you need to do is download the Optifine. Um, uh, mod at from the Optifine website. Again, I'll leave a link in the description for this as well, if I remember. I'll try and remember. Um, yeah, and then you can throw that, just throw that Optifine mod into the mods folder of your mod pack, and you too can get Optifine, which makes the game run a bit smoother. I've yet to find any of my members that can't run this mod mod pack fairly smoothly. It's a good mod pack for running quite smoothly. Um, yeah, I'd love to see you on here anyway, guys, but download the mod, uh, mod pack. Let me know what you think about it. Tweet me, Instagram me. Um, let me know what you think about the mod pack. If there's any suggestions, let me know maybe. And um, yeah, we'll see you soon. Thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, thank you very much. See you guys. Bye-bye.